What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be introducing these film burns effects. And if you have them, you have no idea how to use film burn effects. This video is the video that you should watch. So basically, I will introduce three ways that you can use these film burn effects, and and all these film burn effects are from Cine Punch Pack, a very 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 good filmmaker. Elements pack with a lot of plugins, LUTs, transitions, sound effects, generators, and other stuff. So please check them out. I will leave the link in the description. So first up, if you have already purchased Cinepunch, you can always find the, the generators effects at this file. So you can see there are actually effects, generators, transitions, and other stuff. Very cool, but I'll leave them in the next video. So go to the effects one. And you can see there is a filmmaker vfx so after you have already downloaded the file just go to go and home and movies motion templates and effects just like me put a file here and that's all you need to do very simple when you open this file you can always see that there are already a lot of elements but Today, I'll be only focusing on film burns effects. You restart your Final Cut Pro 10, you can go to the effects column and find the Filmmaker VFX tool. There are actually a lot of like green cinematic film effects, film damage effects, vintage looks, a lot of toolkits, and these 14 very cool film burn effects. So basically, go to the generators. And as you can see that if you've already purchased Cinepunch, there are a lot of other filmmaker generators. I'll leave this in the next video. So go to solid first and drag custom onto your timeline and choose the blend mode to screen. And it became a transparent one. And, and for the first part of this video, I'm gonna use this clip as a film burn transition so let me shorten the clip and drag one of the film burn effects as you can see once i drag it onto the custom solid color clip you can see the actual film burn and if you want to use it as a transition there's some editing that needs to be done so yeah let me uh, shorten the clip a little bit further and go to the start of the clip and click a keyframe at scale and go to the middle which is the transition part and scale up when the whole thing covers the whole screen and go to the end of the clip and bring down the scale if you want your film burn effect to be inverted you can always drag the scale to a negative number if not you can always reset it to 100 percent and let's see so this is the original with a little bit of editing just changing the scale yeah it's kind of like a transition but with this gigantic light bulb at the end it's not very good looking so i'm going to add a keyframe of opacity at the start i'm gonna drag it down in the middle i'm gonna mix mix out the opacity in the middle the actual transition part and at the end i'm going to drag it down further and let's see how it looks and as you can see, there is still a very big, gigantic light bulb-ish film burn thing in the middle of this pretty girl here. So I'm going to decrease the opacity even further, decrease to zero, and let's see. And yeah, it looks like this. If you're satisfied, it's a very good film burn transition. So let's change another film burn transition film burn effect number 10 yeah just drag it onto your clip above and as you can see when you play back all the transform positions scales opacities are already adjusted so i can choose another one like this fx9 yeah this is a very typical film burn kind of effects and let me change back to fx10 I like this uh, rainbowish 
thing in the middle. Let me just uh, take note of the opacity and scale. For this case, the scale is around 500 plus, opacity 81.2. I'm gonna reset all the keyframes and change the opacity to 81% and change the scale to 507% and reposition this because I like this rainbow color to be showing on the top right hand corner of the screen and let me play it back and you can see that it's a kind of like an overlay-ish film burn transition so the next step for us will be creating an actual overlay of film burn over our entire clip so the clip looks like this I'm going to lengthen this clip actually so reset opacity first and then bring it all the way to the start and to the end of the clip and let's start adjusting as you can see it's a very typical film burn kind of effect and if you like this it's okay but i'm kind of not satisfied so i'm just gonna scale up for the film burn the actual film burn change the position a little bit so Let's try it again. Yeah, I kind of like this overlay. It looks sort of like those very vintage film. And let me change the blend mode to screen and let me change the opacity to around 60%. And yeah, this creates a very, very vintage movie kind of look. If you like this, you're satisfied, it's cool. And for me, I don't really like this. So I'm going to change the blend mode back to pin light and try it once more. It looks good, isn't it? So for me, I like the blend mode to be on pin light. So if you like screen, just choose screen. For me, I like pin light more. And yeah, there are other modes you can try. For now, I'm quite satisfied with pin light. And let me change film burn FX2 and change to pin light. Scale it up a little bit. And let's see how it works out as an overlay. Hmm. Let me scale up a little bit further and change the position uh, yep so it creates a very gray and yellowish kind of overlay actually so yeah it looks good actually i kind of like this overlay it creates a very vintage look so i've already introduced two ways to use them so the last is to create a transition that is not the film burn one but rather a light leak transition so after i've already cut short the clip above and i can always re-examine how the clip is looking so for a transition always you have to make the, the bright side of the clip to be covering the entire screen so i'm gonna change the position for the rainbow to cover the entire screen yeah it looks like this and on the middle it has to be even further down to the bottom left hand corner around this yeah and scale it up a little bit and when you're scaling it up you can see that it becomes retracted back to the upper half of the clip so I have to reposition this rainbow again so until it covers almost entirely of the screen something like this I think it looks fine but a little bit of yeah it looks okay and then I'm gonna create a keyframe in the middle of the transition actually create a keyframe for opacity mix out the opacity to 100% go back to the start and bring down the opacity to around 8.94 that's the original one and then 
you can re-examine the clip if you don't really like this flare this leg leak ish you can always reposition and always rescale for this i think it looks kind of cool but i'm going to change this to the right hand side actually i don't know i just prefer it to be like this maybe i'm wrong but you can do it otherwise so let's see how it looks It looks like the actual light leak kind of transition. Yeah, and at the end, remember to bring down the opacity so it won't be very bright at the end. Yeah, and reposition if you like. For me, I really like this rainbow, so I want to have this rainbow. Okay, that's the end of today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this and please remember to check out my channel and give me a thumbs up and bye bye.